Hey guys, welcome back to Blasphemous. We've uh, opened up the Bridge of the Three Cavalries, so let's head over in that direction. Uh, nothing to do here at the moment. We're just going to continue through. enemies here. Let's just quickly dodge past them. Except maybe this one. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button there when I want to drop down. Push to the right a little bit further to go. Dentos here again. Oh, Pennington, is it true that the roads are free? Wondrous vision thou allowest me to behold. Blessed be our encounter. Okay, so uh, we've actually cleared the path for him already by knocking over those uh, those logs so he can get past. And as a reward, he's given us the little toe of limestone, toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim, the vestigial. Little Toe pushed the stones out of his path, increasing dodging distance. The master gathered us all together like every morning and said, A genuine genuflecting pilgrim must never divert their eyes from the earth they walk on, for this is our rule. Um, actually, what's that do? Uh, increases dodging distance. Um, I think I'll hang on to the ones I'm uh, wearing at the moment. Okay, so over to the bridge. Let's save the checkpoint here because we've got a boss fight coming up. Sister, I know you are there. Even if I can't see you, hear my plea. After your departure, it is now my turn to prove I'm deserving of our captain's trust. I will not fail, Chris Santa. And may the greatest of pains devour me if I let the penitents through this door. On your guard, penitent one! damage to him at all. Um, he's blocking a lot more than I remember actually, so this is not going well. Okay. 
restart. I'll try again. Sister, after and may the on you. Come on. Oh, so close that time. So close. Sister up and on.
What a difficult boss fight. I finally managed to beat him. Sister, forgive me. Now I will cross over to the other side of the dream and return to your side. Whew. Okay, we've acquired Taranto to my sister, so this is another prayer. Let's take a look at that. Plea to the storms, intoned by dry throats and shaking voices, calls forth blazing rays that pierce the clouds, striking down nearby enemies. Sister of mine, don't leave me, for I carry you in my breast and in my heart. Sister of mine, don't leave me bleeding, for I carry you in my chest and in my blood. Sister of mine, don't leave me in silence, for I carry you in my bosom and in my song. Um, so to beat that guy, I did actually change to... Um, I changed over one of the rosary beads from the blocking, uh, blocking behind to the little toe, which increases dodging distance. Uh, that seemed to help a little bit. It was still a very tough boss fight though. Uh, anyway, so we are heading across the bridge here. Corpse over here, a sacred light stains the highest branches of the iron tree, its brilliance penetrates its walls into the hall where she rests, shrouding my eyes in purple darkness. Okay. Maybe I should have gone back to the shrine to get some extra health, but let's carry on. There should be a shrine just up here anyway. Dawning. Yeah, we're heading up here just to grab the Quicksilver. Um, so that's where we are. But there is another exit uh, down and to the right. Uh, so let's head over this way. Have a chat with this guy again. Those who have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras, foundling siblings who went on to be part of His Holiness God. It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. For twisted are the paths of the miracle. Okay, let's heal up here, have a chat with this corpse. On this sacred floor I will be safe. They will hear neither my footsteps nor my fear. Um, I wanted oranges from those trees to make no sound on... Okay, I can't read that fast. Now I hear only the horrific screams of those punished by the miracle. I will wait patiently. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, I forgot in this area that the um, uh, floor gives way immediately. Um, in previous sections, you got a couple of seconds to get out of there, but uh, this time... I was trying to grab my corpse, I don't want to talk to this guy. Let's jump across. Um, I think we can use the, uh, the new prayer here to take him out. Um, let's see if this works. No. Oh, actually, we can drop down here, can't we? Um, I forgot there is a, a lower section here. A new enemy to the face. Oh, 
Okay, so heading across here to the right. I actually need to uh, just relax a bit after that boss fight. That was pretty intense. Oh, she knocked me down off the ladder. the gap here um, and dashing back to the left for a collectible uh, so let's grab this fibula of risp the ranger risp's risp scrimshaw was known for his reckless nightly walks in the woods he said they helped him think about what was beyond beyond even the higher wills the high wills the high wills okay um, yeah we're not going to explore the top area at the moment up here for this collectible. Um, the thorned symbol. Uh, this one is actually really handy to have. Thorns bred with enormous patience by calloused hands, creating a protective symbol that only unwavering conviction could prompt the creation of an item like this, and these feelings permeate its prickly surface. It protects its wearer from damage through contact. I'm still inside the creature. I can hear its roar outside. I can hear the thunderous beating of its heart. I just wanted to sleep, but, now, but I saw the miracle in my dreams. It spoke to me. That is why I lie down in the lady's open arms. But the miracle appeared to me again. It was more and more tangible. Then I woke up, but I was no longer myself. I was a prisoner trapped inside a rooted body, a body immersed in constant anger, in constant pain. I'm awake in a sleeping body. Um, yeah, let's get rid of maybe dodging from behind. Actually, I'm not using dodging from behind, am I? Just this cooldown. Uh, maybe get rid of this one here. The slight increase to defense and put on instead the thorn symbol so we don't take contact damage, which is going to be really, really nice. Okay, heading into the next room. These, these enemies are so annoying. Um, dropping down here. Picking up the olive seeds, another medicinal herb. A handful of seeds carefully preserved. The stones of the olives were mashed into an unholy, uh, into an un <laughs> into an oily unguent, essential to the bag of any healer. On one of the nights during which the young man agonized amidst terrible febrile tremors, with the wounds that plagued his body spreading more and more, I approached him so distraught that I held him in my arms, and shedding tears, I kissed him on the forehead while I felt the ardour of his forehead on my lips. I noticed the young man was opening his eyes and looking at me, his agony apparently gone, all of a sudden. Okay. No, don't. Okay, climbing up here. For collectible number, I believe it's number 25, Triquetral. He dreamed all of his life of making beautiful clothes for the nobility, but nearing the day of his death, the only thing he had the opportunity to sew were San Benitos. Okay. Uh, we will need to head back this way. Climb up the ladder and uh, head across to the right. Okay. Um, that's Child of Moonlight number 19. And uh, Redento's back Empty here again. One, heed my confession. Cowardice taketh 
root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle. Who are we pilgrims, if not sinners who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances? Oh, let my bent back cover my tears. Okay, so he's stuck here. There is an enemy that um, he can't defeat. So we're going to give it a go. Ah! Okay. Redento is free now to continue on. Those screams filled my soul with fright. Thou hast purged my fears and helped this poor pilgrim again. We have chosen different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Merciful be the heart, penitent one. Okay, so it's given us the big toe made of uh, limestone. Let's see what that is about. A toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. This strong big toe left its mark and the secret roots adds extra thrust while in air. And he went on to say a genuine genuflecting pilgrim will always have his hands tied behind his back during his travels as his feet are the only thing that should matter to him. For that is our rule. Okay. Continuing on. Entering into the mother of mothers. Um, now I am going to change the prayer so I can hopefully free the child of moonlight up there. Uh, let's use this one. Wait for it to be above us. Okay, there we go. Child of moonlight number 20 of 38. Continuing through, the knot of three words, and here we find a shrine uh, we, where we can um, just save our game here. The knot of the three words. Here is where the first miracle took place. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed, hoping to be heard. He prayed for pain, so he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then, the miracle manifested itself. It made roots grow and twists over his arms and legs, but not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it. And all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Worlds. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us for twisted are were and will be the paths of the miracle Okay, so we are here back in the uh, Mother of Mothers. I'm just going to drop, uh, drop down. Um, there's a secret wall here where we can enter in and get the Oil of the Pilgrims. I believe this is Oil of the Pilgrims number four. Increases our fervor. 
Alright, so that's fantastic. Uh, we're not going to be staying in this area for long. This is more of a, a later game area, especially when we head up to the top there. Instead, just heading to the right uh, into the library of negated words. I hear them reading the matter of the forbidden writing as it is a constant memory whose echoes once inside my mind refuse to leave. I know that my curiosity will kill me. My madness does not, does not do it first. Uh, so another corpse there. Um, we're going to head back. I'm not going to do this area right now. Uh, instead, I'm just trying to uh, get across to... We can't damage those ghosts. Um, just, yeah, heading down and to the right to the teleporter. Um, so we can access fast travel to this area. Let's quickly go back to Albero. And we will give the olive seeds to Terso. He's going to give us be penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. And he's going to give us quite a few tears for that. I think that was about four or five thousand. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And just heading over to the shrine to save the game here, and then we'll explore that new area later on.